Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 16th of May 2017. So what did we have yesterday? Well the market just uh, opened, moved higher, fails uh, short signal there, the momentum just disappeared and the market then just decided to trade uh, sideways as you, you can see there throughout the remainder of the session just in a a range there, very light range of about 37 points there. So nothing for yesterday, the market just uh, sideways as uh, it has been for a while. Again, if you look at the daily chart, you can see uh, the range that we've got at the moment. It's, it's just stuck in this, well, more or less this range where it uh, dipped out there uh, last week and then uh, came back the market at the moment is still trading sideways and it's uh, amazing really with uh, what's going on around the globe but we'll come to that in just a moment news wise today what have we got anything out uh, at 3 p.m we've got um, mortgage delinquencies at uh, 3 p.m uh, there's no forecast for this the previous was at 4.8 percent but no uh, forecast Industrial production is out at 2.15, which is before the market opens, and everything else is out as well. So nothing nothing major to report uh, news-wise uh, either. On uh, other news, though, we've got uh, this out. Uh, we've got uh, for flesh wound stocks soar to record highs after global cyber attack. World economic data crashes. So, uh, yeah, just a you know, normal, normal pattern now. Bad news, market up and uh, as we go through here uh, you can see that the world uh, macro surprise index which i didn't even know existed has uh, dropped to uh, a new recent low there all major stock indices closed green the entire day's gains were in the overnight which is what we saw and uh, stocks went uh, nowhere from the opening gap which is uh, absolutely what we saw yesterday uh, energy was down slightly and uh, the vix uh, was up in the early part of the trade uh, which I actually watched uh, and uh, saw and then uh, eventually like uh, every other occasion the VIX was pushed lower as the S&P remained above 2400 and yet again we have another record streak we've got uh, 16 consecutive days now where the volatility is in those this is a record breaking uh, feat of uh, manipulation where 16 straight days the VIX has not traded or closed I should say above the 11 level so uh, certainly uh, as I keep saying this is building up to something major there's no doubts about that the lower the volatility the longer the it remains uh, in this coiling sideways type of uh, situation then when it breaks, it breaks uh, big style. It always does. It's like pulling an elastic band to its uh, furthest point, and when it snaps, then uh, all of the energy is uh, released. So that's uh, that's about it as far as uh, the news is concerned. It doesn't matter what happens at the moment. It is interpreted as good news, even though the global data is showing that uh, we're heading for a recession. And yet the market continues to levitate in the highs. So a quick look at the implied volatility before we uh, conclude. So the implied volatility also uh, puts in uh, a new low for uh, yesterday. We've got uh, 8.27 and that's down from uh, 8.53 which we saw on Friday. And then we've got uh, again if you look at the top here you can see why we've got this very narrow sideways range of price and that's why we're not getting any signals and as i said before i'd rather have no signals than losing trades to be perfectly honest with you i can wait it's not a problem done it before been there uh, and then when it does break it's a lot easier to make money when there's momentum in the market instead of having the frustration of bleeding to death slowly as the market trades sideways so uh, again not a problem just got to uh, be patient and wait and when it does go it'll be well worth the wait right uh, that's it uh, for today short brief to the point uh, not a lot to report so uh, with that thanks for watching see you in the next one